guys, this is Just Martin 91 and in this review I'm reviewing um, the Bye Bye Man that just came out this week in theaters. Uh, actually, I found it was quite engaging. It was directed by someone called Stacy Title. And it's quite an interesting premise, honestly, and it, to me, it screamed, actually, screamed from the 90s, right? And then a lot of, like, Final Destination moments and stuff like that. Anyway, getting to the point. The premise, basically, is about this, um, bye-bye, man, oh, shit. Well, you know the joke if you saw it. Anyway. This occurrence. There's this legend, basically, of this, uh, this man. The idea, basically, is, is that you can't say the bye-bye man, referring to the ominous occurrence that occurs, basically, it's an invite. Whenever you say it, it's an invite. And as you spread the word, you basically sign someone's death warrant. That's basically what it's about. These three, um... Uh, kids basically move in just off campus into a house and they find something that relates to this bye bye man and that's where it go, um, that's where the story gets rocky because as they go along spreading the word let's just say the less you know the safer you are because as the word goes out the killing spree starts the story's kind of brick by brick I mean it's it's pretty well done and I feel like in a few years it could be like a cult classic kind of thing I actually quite enjoyed what it was um, and I'm not that into horror movies usually I usually it has to be story driven and I like the idea I'm just trying to figure out how the whole thing started I just want to figure out how the whole thing just started because there is an op and I don't want to spoil too much we see how the movie begins but it feels like it it begins in the middle of an event, and we don't know how we got there and anything. Like, it's a, it's a bit unstructured in the beginning. But present day time, it builds up, and it adds up. And it comes to a really good conclusion, and it's so rocky, and it's so... It plays with your mind, but that's the point of horror movies, right? The latest one that I really enjoyed in horror movie criteria would have to be Conjuring 2. And that one surprised me, and I quite enjoyed it. Don't Breathe was also up there, but that's for different reasons. Um, you yeah, know, it was a low-budget movie, this one, The Bye Bye Man. It already made back its budget on box office, and it's only three days out. Even if it makes a mediocre budget, it's already doing quite well. And the crowds are actually coming for it. Working at the theater, I can see that. So, I mean, who knows, right? And if you enjoy these kinds of movies, I definitely recommend it for you. It definitely is original in its own sense. It's not a rehash or reboot. It is based off of a um, chapter of a novel called The Bridge to Body Island from Robert Damon Schneck. Um, that's basically what is it, what it is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the movie or anything you see this week. Have a good one, guys.